Hey, welcome to my channel, Josh Gordon Music. Today we have a, a Helix LT preset for you. Yes, and I call it Country Rock. Reason is because this preset has been designed for a um, country rock trio I play in, where we do a mix of country, some of the old, but mostly newer stuff, you know, that which is kind of rocking, and, and also rock tunes. And this preset is designed as such to cover all facets of those mu the the music uh, you know that's required. So let's have a let's have a look. And you know what? We're gonna do some playing because we have lots of goodies in here. We got lots of good things going on, and um, I think this is a very useful preset. And if you like it, in the description box below, you can download this for free in the custom tone area on the Line Six website. So let's do a little walkthrough. And um, then we're going to do some playing. We'll, we'll, we'll play, we'll walk, we'll talk, we'll play, we'll have some fun, okay, as we go through this. So, as always, I put a, a noise gate on, on the input, the first thing I do. You know, even though this guitar is, uh, this is my main guitar, just to segue for a minute here. PRS S2 Vela Satin Semi Hollow. And it's basically, to me, it's like... Uh, an SG and a thin line telly had a baby. It's lightweight, neck feels good, it's, and it's got a good chunk. Now, if you can see the pickup configuration, this is a you know single coiled neck, and then here we have a humbucker bridge. But you pull the tone, and you get a coil tap. So you can get some telly style tones out of this, which I hope you will be convinced of when you hear this. Okay. Right now, we're gonna put it into like humbucking mode for the you know for the rock as we go through this. All right, so. Now, I have uh, actually out of the eight assignable foot switches, I only have seven assignments, but you can see here I've got well more than, you know, way more than uh, seven blocks, but some of them are just always on. Okay, so let's go through the, the blocks now. Okay, compressor, just using the red squeeze, and I'm not gonna tell you all the parameters here because again, you could see all this when you download it, if you choose to, from the Custom Tone web, uh, Line 6 website. Okay, but I have um, compressor always on. Now I have um, I have three different drives that you can tap dance around. The first one's a Tima. So let's do Tima. All right. And we're going to turn off the other drives. We're going to turn off the delay and just have Tima. And the other things, let's, let's before we get into the blocks that actually I have assigned and, and you know, have on and off, let's go, let's just go through the other stuff. You know, the, the other dirts I have is a, the Stupor OD and I have a Horizon drive. The amp I'm using is the Matchstick Channel 1. Again, you'll see all the, you know, the parameter settings there. After that, I have a Vital Boost. So that's my lead boost. And then after that, I also have my Chorus. And I put these in between the amp and the cab because I feel that's, for me, and or at least for this preset, is where they're most effective, okay? Cabinet. Now, what do we got here? We've got a, du we've got a Duel here, which uh, I, I'm used to Pod Go and not having this dual capability, but I'll tell you, you know, if the Podgo ever gets this, hopefully they will, wow, that thing will shoot through the roof for sure, because this is awesome, because I have a blend of a greenback, old standard, and then this Moon uh, cabinets that were, I guess, uh, in the last update, along with that, um, maybe it was two updates ago. Anyways, they're, they're, they're great, and this, this is a nice blend. So again, you can see the mics and the placements and all that. So then we go down to the second path here. Now here, uh, because I have all this stuff up here, I still have some other things I want, like EQ. I have, this isn't always on, and this was just for tone shaping for my, I guess, overall, the clean and, you know, and f maybe more so for the leads. But, um, you know, it's a great little tool to have, and it, it helps because, you know, the amps, you're only going to get so much out of the amps, and then the cab's even important too with the mic and the distance and all that. But use your EQ or slap an EQ in here just to have even some more extra tone shaping. Why not? It doesn't take too much DSP and it can, it can make a difference in your sound. And then all the way at the end here, I have a couple of delays. I have a simple ambient delay and then I have one that on my display here, I've marked as a slap back for the country stuff. And then reverb is always on and we're using a hall and I put a high decay, but I have a low mix. So that's kind of nice and ambient. And I don't even have the trails on on this one. Um, and then I have a volume, you know, in case I want to do some fake pedal steel stuff, which I'm, you know, not, not the greatest at, but 
it's there if, if you need it. And then uh, the output, which I have nothing on because uh, I'm able to put uh, a boost, you know, here. And, uh, you know, we're not as limited. No, I don't want to make this comparison video to the PodGo, but you know that we're limited there. So we we're more adventurous maybe at times with the PodGo or, or more creative of how to get things done. So anyways, let's get back to what I was originally saying here. Now, I'm going to probably do some timestamps here now in the video so that you can follow along and go to your your favorite part of you know hear the effect again if you want so let's start with the Tima so this is just plain plain drive okay now let's turn that off and then we can go here to the stupor. And now Horizon Drive. Okay, but I don't use them just individually. I stack. So if I was going to go just to, um, for a lead tone, I'll have a Tima. Let's do Tima and Stupor first. Now, Tima and Horizon. And that's what you heard at the top of the video with some delay added. Uh, this is my favorite out of this little setup. All right, let's add some chorus to that. All right, now let's add some delay. This is my ambient delay. Let's slap in the vital boost. Beauty. Okay, so we already have lots going on here. Let's do some clean, okay? Because it's like, oh, we're, I don't hear the country yet. Well, no, that was the rock, basically. So you know what I'm going to do? Clean. So if I will, um, I'll start with a regular neck single coil, and we'll make our way down to the split coil bridge. So here's the clean. <laughs> Sad chorus. Let's add delay. chorus
right now I'm just getting kind of jamming. Now let's get to the here. Now we're on the the bridge as a split coil. So let's do that on its own. Okay, now let's add, I think for this, the slapback. This is all probably all I would use the slapback for here. You hear that? Let's add chorus. And a team up. Take off the chorus. So I think I've covered everything. I'm going to turn everything off now. But there you have it. So there's a preset. Again, I think covers rock and country. And I think you can get it like anywhere from, you know, fairly traditional country to modern day country and definitely uh, some great modern rock sounds, even, you know, definitely classic rock sounds too. So yeah, um, I think it's a real fun preset and I hope you like it again link in the description box below where you can download it for free so thanks for watching guys i appreciate it we're going to be doing lots more helix lt videos and we're not no we're not abandoning the pod go we're going to do lots of pod go definitely helix i'm a big fan of the line six stuff so i want to want to branch out get some helix you know let's get let's let's all work together here man pod go for some gigs for sure i would use helix for some other gigs that maybe require some more that the pod go can't do all right so it's not that's why i'm not saying one is better than the other i think they're both great and both have their uses and i want to explore both of them you know and those you know and other modelers and you know some of the, these tiny little new ones that are the, coming out from these little guy uh companies you know uh or, or maybe littler companies that are that would make us some wonderful stuff too all right so thank you if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button give the video a like it helps the channel and the channel is growing and that's because you guys out there for all you new viewers returning viewers occasional viewers thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video